Hi, baby. Sending love and light. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. It's Moriana Reed, your favorite life coach and mentor, aka your accountability coach. I focus on the areas of self-love, trauma healing, and mindset shifting, and we are back for morning motivational message. This message is titled, The Dream in Your Heart. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Proverbs 13, 12. When God puts a dream in your heart, don't be afraid to pursue it. Dreams are different than plans. Plans are manageable opportunities, but dreams are often too big to be managed. You plan to assemble an airplane, but you dream of flying. Dreams will require faith because they are bigger than our own ability to accomplish them. That's why faith-filled dreams are so important. When you dream a big dream for God, you become totally dependent on him bringing it to pass. If there is a dream in your heart, be diligent to seek God and obedient to take the steps of faith and do anything he leads you to do. Plan on being patient because dream because dreams begin as a seed in our heart and takes time and diligent care to be fulfilled. Today's thought. You will see your God-given dream come true in his timing if you don't give up. And oh, how this is so true. You guys, I can say this from a standpoint of being an entrepreneur slash just being a creative in general. So many times we have this dream and, you know, we think of the dream, but not all the times we, we don't always think of all the steps that it takes to get there <laughs> sometimes it may be a few steps but a lot of times when it comes to faith-based things it's it's for extended amount of time and that's okay starting my business i started my business two years ago and i can say that god has really helped me through my business because it's been plenty of times where I just wanted to be like, oh, I'm done. I quit. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not seeing the results that I want to see. I'm not, you know, I'm not where I want to be in my business. I feel like I'm getting nowhere. But when I say it takes faith, it takes patience. It really does. Because it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. But when you can lean on God and be like, God, I feel like it's too much. What am I doing wrong? What am I supposed to be doing? God will guide you. I'm a very big advocate for slow and steady wins the race because I know now that nowadays everybody is so used to just getting things. Everybody want things all of a sudden. Everybody, no one wants to wait. No one wants to work for the thing. So I can say this journey has really changed me because now i'm okay with the slow and steady process in the slow and steady process you learn the most about whatever it is that you are creating you're taking the time you're learning about those things you're connecting with other people and getting different perspectives about those things you're talking to god and god is throwing things in your face and people in your face for you to be able to you know take things back and be able to do them better so my message to you is whatever that is that you're building whatever that is that you're creating talk to God about it be in it with God be patient and understand that slow and steady does win the race it may not seem like it always and you know it gets a little annoying you know like why why i gotta wait this long why i gotta keep waiting what's what am i doing wrong and a lot of times you're not doing anything wrong god is moving you at the steady that you can receive in so take this advice and go be the best you possible i love you